Hey guys, Amy Star Allen here, and I'm just out on a hike tonight. Um, it's evening time here in Colorado, and um, I just wanted to shoot this quick video because I'm I'm just super inspired right now, and um, I wanted to share a few things with you guys. Um, well, for one, I went to another concert at Red Rocks last night, and I went to one last week as well, and, um, and it was phenomenal. I mean, it, it was, I had an experience. Um, I've been to Red Rocks, I've probably been to at least 100 concerts at Red Rocks. It's one of the reasons I actually moved to Colorado. And uh, what happened last night has never happened before to me at Red Rocks, but we got there super early to get in line for the gates to open. It was Brandi Carlisle, and uh, I'm a huge fan of hers. So we got there super early and um, totally prepared for rain. It looked like it was gonna rain. It had been raining on and off all day. And then um, even though we were prepared, it started pouring while we were in line to the point where this flood started. I mean, we were drenched. It looked like we had jumped in a swimming pool. It didn't matter that we had umbrellas and rain gear at all because it was so windy and pouring so hard that um, the, it didn't, none of that helped. Then all of a sudden this torrential, um, I mean this, like, it was almost like a mudslide came down these stairs. We're standing on the stairs waiting to climb up into the stadium in line and um, the water was almost up to my knees and it was like mud water and it was just flowing down the stairs and so we had to leave. We had, and like I had flip flops on, <laughs> it was crazy. Anyway, um, we got to the, we got down safely and I decided I was gonna go home and change because I couldn't even wait around for five hours in my sopping wet clothes. I was freezing. And um, so I went home and changed. And then I drove back a little while later and I saw the most significant, you know, magnificent rainbow ever um, in my life on the way back and saw this incredible concert and it was totally worth all of it after, um, after the rain and just really enjoying the, the splendor of Red Rocks and just the natural beauty that that place has. And then, you know, right now, as you can see, I'm out in nature. And uh, I, went, uh, I, I went to church this morning and listened to a talk that was really helping to remind us about um, how you can't be completely happy in life unless you're connected to the divine and to, to all of this because otherwise we're just, we're too focused on material things and the busyness of our lives. And, um, and then they were showing this, this movie later in the day there that I went back to see and I took my kids with me and it's a movie that I've seen before, but I wanted to see it again. It's about crop circles and that movie is so good. I'm actually buying a copy of it to bring to our all-in retreat for our um, for my Empower Network team. We're having um, an event up in Breckenridge next week for after our big Empower Network event, we're all going up to Breckenridge for five days and we're gonna be doing a lot of really cool stuff up there to help our team take their business to the next level. And a lot of the training we're gonna be doing has to do with the subconscious mind and things that a lot of people just don't understand, including myself. Um, although I study the subconscious mind, I don't necessarily completely understand how the universe works. And I'm fascinated by that kind of thing. And this crop circle movie was so awesome. So I'm gonna go back and buy a copy of it so that I can bring it up to this retreat and show everybody. But it's just one of those things where there's a lot more going on than we are even aware of. So anyway, that, that movie was just a really, really good reminder for me about how, you know, the universe is magnificent. There's a lot more going on than we know. and. I think one of the biggest things that gets in the way for, oh, I just realized I still have my headphones in. Um, I was listening to my inner circle audio while I was hiking before I whipped my camera out. Um, I think one of the biggest things that gets in the way for people in life is that they, they, they only focus on what they know and it's hard for them to like let go and trust life and trust the universe and know that the universe has our back and just to, um, you know, just to know that there's a lot more going on than, than we can comprehend and that we even know about. And for me, I think the, the biggest key to my success has been just really allowing myself to believe in some of this, what might seem woo-woo stuff, um, so that I can, you know, like when I trust that all, you know, that, that everything is handled, 
then everything is handled. And when I get really clear about where I want to go, and I write it down, and I read it twice a day, when I wake up in the morning and before I go to bed at night, and I just let, and then let it go, and trust that it will manifest, then it manifests. And this has happened over and over for me in my life. Like, I just took my dad to Ireland, which I set that intention a year prior, and I, I just read it every day for a year, and the next thing you know, we were in Ireland. And, like, first class, like, awesome time. And, uh, and I do it all the time with my intentions, and I don't understand why it works, but I just know that it does. I trust that it does. So, yeah, I think, I think what gets in the way for people is that they, they might take the action required, like writing down their goal and reading it twice a day, but they don't actually believe that it's going to do, it, do them any good. So, um, actually, let me turn around for a second so you can see the view behind me. I'm walking up this hill right now towards the mountains. Um, so, I mean, I think that's, that's the biggest thing, is just really, like, just trusting in the process. We do trainings every night for our team, I mean, every week on Tuesday night for our team, um, where we talk about a lot of these things. And the leaders on our team that are teaching this stuff, myself included, are people that have actually put this stuff into practice and have had success with it. And we talk about it all the time. And then we have people that do it, that have success with it. And then we have people that don't do it. They just don't bother because they totally don't trust it at all enough to even take the time to do these things. And then we have people that take the time to do them, but don't have, don't have the results. And so I think the biggest thing is, as a matter of fact, I know the biggest thing that gets in the way for people is that they don't, they do the work, but they don't believe that they're going to get the outcome. And it's the same thing with marketing. I mean, if you're, if you're trying to get results with marketing, but in the back of your mind, you're thinking, nobody's going to read my blog. Nobody's going to click on my ad. You know, if there's a belief going on in the back of your mind about that, then you're not going to get the, the, the result that you want from it. So the idea that will help you get to succeed is to set an intention and you have to believe it. You have to believe that it's possible and you have to believe that it's possible for you. It's like the difference between faith and certainty. You know, faith is when you're moving towards your belief and and what you want. You're 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 moving in that direction knowing that that's what you want. Certainty is you know without a doubt that you're going to have it. And when you have that kind of certainty, when you set your intentions, and when you do this woo-woo stuff, even though you don't understand how it works or why it works, but if you just do it with certainty, like I do, like a lot of us do, that's going to help you get the result that you want, rather than doing it and thinking, this isn't going to work. I mean, when I watched that movie today about crop circles, I'm going to keep walking. When I watched that movie today about crop circles, it was such a good reminder. Like, I mean, I, I watch a lot of stuff like that all the time because I'm fascinated by orbs and crop circles and all of this stuff that's just so far beyond what we can comprehend. It's just a good reminder for me that there's a lot more going on than we understand. And so if you can constantly know that, then maybe you'll be less inclined to have to understand exactly how everything works. So I just wanted to make a video about that today. Um, um, oh, one of the things I was going to say about my Red Rocks experience last night is that um, while I was at Red Rocks last night, driving back and forth <laughs> twice and watching this amazing concert, I made $1,150. I was not on my phone. I was not on my computer. I wasn't working, and I made $1,150. And this is pretty standard these days with what we call our BTC formula for Team Be The Change, where we are able to make money and help other people make money on autopilot when they're out having fun and doing the things that are important to them in life. Um, and it's a new thing for me. Before I was in the business that I'm in now, I, I used to have to be actively involved with every dollar I made. In other words, if somebody was gonna spend money, I had to be on the phone with them, taking their credit card information and actively being involved in the process or on a three-way call or something like that. And now that's not the case anymore. I could be at a concert in the pouring rain and uh, have money coming in while I'm doing that. And 
So anyway, it's just awesome. And I've become really, really passionate about the fact that I'm a finally able to help other people not only make money for the first time, because on other things that I've done where I've been successful, my team wasn't successful because it was, I was asking people to do things that they just didn't want to do, like talk to their friends and family and cold call and prospect people at gas stations. And now we get to teach people how to do things that are fun. They can select what they want to do, what marketing strategy they want to use. And then we can help people make money even when they're sleeping or even when they're at a concert or even my business partner Jordan was camping for like a week and made thousands of dollars while he was camping. I went to Hawaii in March and I was having like $3,000 days and $1,000 days the whole time I was there and I wasn't working. And so anyway, that's become a real passion of mine to help people get out of the slavery model of thinking that they have to be behind a desk all day at a nine to five job in order to make money. Now the way I make money, like right now I'm making a video while I'm on this gorgeous hike, I'm hiking through these really tall weeds right now, not weeds, but whatever. You can probably see the mountains behind me, but anyway, and I'm, and I'm making a video. This is my work today. <laughs> so um, just, just creating value for the marketplace and um, it's just a powerful way to give back and make a great living at the same time. So if you're interested in learning more about this business model and our team and how we help people have this lifestyle, um, just click the link below this video. There'll be more information there. And uh, I'd love to have you on the team. And in any case, um, I just challenge, I'm sorry, I'm hiking up a bunch of rocks right now. I just challenge you to start trusting life. Even if you don't understand the universe, I challenge you to just trust the universe. Trust that the universe has your back and it's all good. And, and move through your fear knowing that everything is handled on the other side. And um, I'll make another video that goes into more details about subconscious mind stuff too, because it's, it's really fascinating and there's some tips that I can give you around that too. But this video has been long enough for now. So thanks for joining me on my hike. Click the link below if you want more information about me and my team. And um, I look forward to meeting you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.